This AI plugin for Premiere Pro saves me so much time. Every video editor has to be using this. What's up guys, my name is Evan Nguyen. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'm gonna to be going over Firecut AI, which is an AI plugin made for Premiere Pro. It's perfect for video editors who are editing short form content, podcasts, vlogs, other long form content, and just a bunch more content forms. The features on it are absolutely incredible. It can remove silences, add chapters, add captions. In this video, I'm gonna be going over a brief overview of what's in it, why it's useful, and how you can use it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, I'm just gonna be editing this intro clip because why not? So first up, you have to go get Firecut AI. So you can get it at their website, at firecut.ai. Shout out to Ali Abdal, by the way. It was created by his team. If you don't know Ali Abdal, productivity expert go. Anyways, you can check it out. They have a free seven day trial. And if you want to check it out after that, there is an $11 per month starter plan. So really cheap price, saves me so much time, 100% worth it to me. All right, let's get to editing. So first up, I have a video clip right here of the intro and you can see right here, I repeat myself a lot of times, I make a lot of mistakes, there's a lot of pauses in here and it's just gonna take like an hour or two to maybe go in and edit all of these out manually. With Firecut AI, I go to my window, I hit extensions and click on Firecut AI. Boom, now you have this insane looking plugin. We have a bunch of crazy options right here. They just updated it by the way, so I'm gonna be showing you some of the new updates as well. But first off, we're gonna start off with removing the silences because that seriously is a real big one. I'm gonna go ahead and add some in and out points right here, just the beginning and end so that we only work on this section. And you can see right here, I can select my audio tracks if I wanna do the full sequence or the in and out points, which I will be using. And then it's about 10 to 30 minutes of audio. Let's go ahead and choose like a fairly tight cut. And we're gonna be using all the audio tracks right now. It's gonna go ahead and render the audio file. And now just like that, after it's detected all the silences, you can see it just automatically cut and removed all the silences in my entire sequence. Just like that, you can see 32.8 seconds removed, 30 silences cut. That is insane that it took like that long for AI to do it. Now let's go ahead and remove some of the repetition. I repeat myself a lot in my tutorials and I need to work on it. I'm gonna go ahead and click the remove repetition button right here and in and out points once again. And let's just go ahead and detect the repetition. It's first going to transcribe the audio. So it's gonna create a full transcribed caption audio. And then from there, it's gonna use AI to detect the repeated segments and tell me if I want to keep and remove some of these segments. Once it's done rendering, you can see right here, I can adjust the phrase size, the tolerance, the search radius. I think my repetitions were about like 30, 40 words. And then I repeated myself pretty, pretty frequently. So about seven to eight words. And you can see right there, 13 repeated phrases right here. That's crazy. So I'm gonna hit preview and choose best takes. And now you can see it's giving me the option to look at each of these different takes and where I repeat myself and it's gonna tell me which one do I wanna use. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to this part. The features are an absolutely incredible and it can remove silences. <laughs> literally what we're just doing right now. I'm gonna select the second take. Absolutely incredible, it can add silence. Not that one. The and the third take. Absolutely. I definitely like the third take out of these three, so I just hit the check mark on the third take and boom, it just removed all the other bad takes and replaced it with the third take, which is absolutely incredible. Like this is, this is literally just editing. AI is editing for me, I'm not even doing anything. Pretty much the second take is the, the good take for me. So all I have to do is just click this check mark on the second take and boom, there we go. We have the edited intro already done for me. So you can see if you're a content creator, if you're doing podcasts or you have to do scripted stuff, this saves so much time in the editing process. Now, yes, there's some other cool features of it, like adding zoom ins, adding chapters, which by the way, zoom ins are just like zooming in on the video so it can detect emphasizing words and then zoom in. I wanna show you one of the more newer and more impressive features, which is the creating highlights feature. Now this feature is still in beta mode as of now, June 20th, 2024. But right here, I have a full tutorial recording, one of my older tutorials. And what I think is really cool about this feature right here is that if I select create highlights, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some in and out points of this full tutorial. Firecut AI can take a long form video and then analyze the video, find specific highlight moments, and then turn those sections into shorts with like captions and all this cool stuff, which I think is absolutely incredible, especially if you're editing podcasts, you need to make shorts for your channel, whatever it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and I want my highlights to be around 30 to 60 seconds. Let's use in and out points and let's just go ahead and click find highlights. It's gonna load, still waiting for it to load. And voila, there we go. We have a bunch of different highlights that we can choose from, whether we wanna create a short from this. And it tells you the exact duration, the title of it, what the topic is, and it gives an audio transcription for captions of the entire highlight, which is 
absolutely insane. So you can see uh, it does the introduction segment, instructions on how to duplicate and trim this effect, creating a new solid for the ripple effect, and then finally closing remarks and call to action. That is insane that this is all done in AI. I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see, what's a cool part of the video? Let's do the adding ripple effect. Creating the ripple warp effect right here, which is a 47 second duration. I'm gonna select this highlight right here, and now I'm gonna hit create new highlight sequence. So now it's gonna make an entire new sequence. It removed everything else and it spaced everything out into the exact, you just see that? I didn't even do anything. It, it Like that is insane that it just like chopped this whole thing up. Now we have a whole new sequence. Look at this. How, how do you like this feature? Insane, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta give it a 10 out of 10 because that was insane. I think with time, the AI analysis is gonna get even better, but this is still very impressive. So you can see for each of these highlights right here, I can go ahead and add captions, even find B-roll, which it would use from a like free uh, Pexels website, which I will use from a free stock website, which I believe is Pexels. So let's go ahead and do the introduction. I'm gonna just do add captions right here. We're gonna transcribe it and boom, there you go. You can see we're in this add captions panel. It'll show you a preview of it and you can see all these presets. We have Hormozy, we have Ali Abdal, we have Smosh, Firecut. I honestly love Ali's captions. They're, they're really nice looking. I can go ahead and just hit add stylized captions to sequence and boom, just like that. You see it's already created a vertical format we have captions on it. This is insane. This is this is fucking crazy. I'm sorry. And also just for fun, I just want to go ahead and choose the find B-roll section because I think that's that's pretty cool. You can see by the way, it's centered on my face, which I think is really cool as well. So let's go ahead and hit find B-roll. There's automatic, so you can do 10 seconds, uh, which is high frequency and low frequency, which is every 60 seconds. I want it somewhere in the middle, and you can see it's gonna use Pexels. Oh, it uses Storyblocks as default, and you can choose Pexels, which is also a free one. And then let's do short context legacy. Maximum clip duration will be about five to six seconds. Let's do six seconds, and uh, it'll save right here in this folder file. Now I'm gonna hit find B-roll. Oh, there's actually an error right here. I'm just keeping this real with you guys. I'm showing this in the tutorial. So yeah, as you can see, fire, fire cut is not perfect right now, but it's still work in progress, but still very, very impressive. Let's go ahead and try story blocks. Oh, boom, there we go. So you can see right here. Information effect inside of After Effects, let's go. It's added B-roll. <laughs> It's done it. I mean, it's it's done it. It's not like it hasn't done it, but it just added a, a random clip of a, of a road. I, I think that's very cool. I think there's definitely a lot of room and area for improvement. And I just can't wait to see where this will be in the next like year, even few months and still be very impressive. But really, I got to give huge shout out to Firecut AI, huge shout out to Ali's team for sending this over. If you want to check out Firecut AI, the links in the description. And with that, guys, here are the final results. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this logo pop out animation effect inside of After Effects. Let's go. If you guys made it to the end of the video, just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. And once again, if you're interested, you can check out Firecut AI. You can check out the link in the description. I'm serious, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a video editor. The hours that it has saved me is absolutely incredible. So you have to check it out if you're editing any type of videos. And lastly, if you're a video editor, you're interested in spicing up your edits, you're looking for some more templates and presets, you can definitely check out our store 11 percent.net there we have title card templates overlays preset packs and a bunch more i created all these preset packs myself i just wanted to make something that would help other editors save time as well just like firecut ai so if you're interested you can check it out all available at 11 percent.net thanks again so much for watching leave a comment down below of what tutorial you'd like to see from us next and with that i'll see you guys in the next video peace